Hello from Walt Disney World, myself and Brennan are on the way to Magic Kingdom. I almost forgot. <laughs> so the signs on Disney World property have always been purple, but now the signs are going to be different. It looks like they're going to be blue, which is pretty interesting. I like it. I do too. So for dinner tonight, we're going to be going to a place that we have not gone to in quite a while, and we are both incredibly excited. We actually ended up getting a pretty nice parking spot for showing up pretty late today. It's about six o'clock. Our reservation's in about an hour and a half and we're both pretty starving. Every time that we walk this way, I always miss the massive arch that went over this bridge to get to the transportation and ticket center. I used to think that they would probably bring it back at some point, but it doesn't look like they are. But we should head through security and get over to Magic Kingdom. All right, so we're taking the monorail over to Magic Kingdom and some pretty significant news is that today, the day that we're here, Disney announced that masks are going to be optional for vaccinated guests both indoors and outdoors. This doesn't take effect until the 17th of February, which is going to be in effect by the time that I upload this, but that is a very, very big update from Walt Disney World. We just made it to the contemporary back over there in the sky. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going over to Magic Kingdom right now. We're spacing out with Tron right in the background. There's the Astro Runner. This is just all tomorrow night. Absolutely one of the most beautiful shots I've ever seen of Magic Kingdom from the monorail. I am so excited to be here tonight and have dinner again at about an hour and a half or so. So the sky pretty much matches the mood of the reason that we're here today because yesterday was Valentine's Day and we both worked pretty late yesterday so we did not get a chance to do anything particularly special yesterday. So we are here today to have a little date nights and dinner at Magic Kingdom. Okay, so we're heading into the ticketing turnstile entry area over here where we're going to scan to head inside the park and then probably head somewhere before heading over to where we're going to be having dinner tonight. And here we are inside right as the sun is setting and Brennan, where are we going to be having dinner tonight? Be our guest. Yes, we are indeed. Because I've never had dinner at Be Our Guest. I did, but it was a while ago. It's a prefix menu now, so let's see what's different. Or I guess I can see what's different. I'm obsessed with how the sky looks today because it's only going to last like this for probably another 10 to 15 minutes until it gets dark. It is so pretty. I love it. So because we have a little bit of time before we have to head over to Fantasyland to be our guest, we have a little bit of a window to maybe ride a ride. So we'll see what we end up doing. It might be the people mover, as it usually is, but maybe we'll do something different and surprise ourselves. So actually we're heading inside the Main Street Cinema here because I believe this is where the vault collection is for merchandise. And we want to explore and see what they have in here and see if we want to grab anything eventually because we haven't yet done that. I love the vintage Minnie Mouse doll right there, the plush, and this. Honestly, I'm pretty obsessed with this. A visit to Walt Disney World board game here. This looks so incredibly cool, and I would 100% play this at some point. And then over on the other side, looks to be a lot of the vintage and retro t-shirts. They have a ton of just really cool vintage shirts over here, and I did just buy one here and I sort of wish I could get most of these because I love vintage shirts but this is the shirt that I ended up getting right here. This It's a Small World shirt. Okay, we're back on Main Street right now heading past Starbucks. I believe that Cinderella Castle is about to become a beacon of magic here in just a minute. So now Cinderella Castle is looking quite beautiful, illuminated as a beacon of magic, and I believe now we're going to head over to Tomorrowland. It is pretty busy in the uh, castle hub here in front of the castle. So of course we're both quite tempted to ride the People Mover because it is one of our favorites to ride at night. What was that? What's wrong with that? <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know, but we'll see. We do have a good amount of time before we have to head back over to Fantasyland. Okay, so we're heading over to see what the line looks like for People Mover. The line for Bus Light here is pretty intense right now. It's about 45 minutes long. All right, so the line is a little bit lengthy right now, but it's not terrible. And the People Mover line generally always moves pretty consistently. So we should be on board the People Mover here in just a couple minutes, probably. Hooray, right, we got a very final little car here on the People Mover. It's kind of hard to see, but 
That's a pretty substantial line down there waiting for the people mover. I know that we literally ride the people mover every opportunity that we have, but it's just such a classic ride for us. I remember riding this ride just decades ago, and literally nothing has changed about it. Consistency. Passing by the Progress City model in here, which I never really filmed because it's always going to be the same, but it is very interesting this is just a very minuscule version of what the massive version is. I'm enjoying having the back seats for once. Usually I want to have the very front seats, but the back seat is still pretty cool as well. Tomorrowland Speedway over here, this is looking very busy right now. It's pretty hard to see, but they're actually completing the canopy over there for Tron. Now I definitely want to come back during the daytime so it's easier to see, but wow, that looks really good. Okay, so we just came out of Space Mountain. We're getting pretty close to our check-in window for be our guests. It's in about half an hour, but we can check it about, I believe, 15 to 20 minutes early. Oh, Space Mountain's posting a 120 minute wait right now. Look at that lightning main line extending outside. Yikes! That's intense. And now we're circumnavigating the Carousel of Progress, which we haven't seen that together in a little while. I feel like whenever I do the Carousel of Progress, it's always for some sort of a, a challenge or something. We need to just do it. A lot of time. It does, but it's so nice. Okay, so that was a pretty nice little experience around Magic Kingdom riding the People Mover. Riding it at night is definitely one of the best times to ride it, as well as when the sun sets. It's also a pretty beautiful and fun time to ride this as well. Okay, so I believe we're just going to head straight over to the Our Guest, which is again in the back of Fantasy Land, pretty much behind the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It's so cool that it's a prefix menu, and I get why they transitioned to that so that people wouldn't come in and just order the soup and then leave. But it's a little bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. Apparently people would do that, where they would order a soup just to get the atmosphere of VR guests. So I think that's why they transitioned to a prefix menu. I'm not totally sure, but that would make sense if that was a problem. Okay, so we just walked past the circus. I love how this area looks at night. It is honestly beautiful. And it's a little bit hard to see, but we're heading way off into the distance over there at that blue castle. That is the Beast's Castle for VR guests. It looks like it's been a pretty busy day today because they have ropes up for an extended queue, looks like, for Journey of the Little Mermaid, which normally does not have that long of a line or demand, but they have these ropes up. So we've checked in for our, I almost said for our room, no, we checked in for our reservation. It's still not ready quite yet, it's our table, so we're just trying to fill a little time. And here we are over by Gaston's Tavern, appreciating and enjoying this, uh, this fountain here at night. I love how it's lit. It's very pretty. Okay, and here we are heading over to Be Our Guest, which the table's still not ready quite yet, but at least hopefully we can be right in front of it when it is ready. Pretty soon we will be crossing that bridge right over there, and then through those gates and inside, there's the Beast's Castle, the Force Perspective Castle, way up there on the mountain. Okay, so right now we are hanging out in the area that was once Enchanted Tales with Belle, which currently has a rope up right over there because Enchanted Tales with Belle has not yet reopened. But we'll see with the mask policy being updated, we'll see what happens with that, with Biggest Royal Friendship Fair coming back and Festival of Fantasy. I'm sure that a lot is going to be different here, hopefully pretty soon, but hopefully we can get inside here, be our guest in just a minute. Our reservation is technically right now, so it should be pretty soon. Okay, so because we're checked in, we can head inside the Beast's Castle, but they said they're running about 20 minutes behind, so it might still be a little bit before we get our table, but at least we're able to head inside through the gates and into the Beast's Castle. Look who it is! It's the beast. We were just sat at our table. We are sitting here in the ballroom. There's the Rose Gallery off to the right over there, and then the West Wing right over there where the Enchanted Rose is. And there's Beast just walking around and saying hello to everybody. Right now he's welcoming all of the guests into his castle. This is so cool. He used to be able to meet him and take pictures with him back when you would order individually in this room, kind of right behind us over here. Okay, so let's figure out what we want here for our prefix menu. Okay, so myself and Brendan switched places because I wanted her to be able to see the pretty snow outside. Uh, so we have some fresh baguettes here with some butter with Himalayan sea salt. Is that what he said? Yeah. Um, and I got myself, oh, it's hard to see. I got myself a glass of wine because when you get an opportunity to drink at Magic Kingdom, you should probably take advantage of it. This is just a pretty simple Moscato. Um, and then I got myself a Coke here because that's included in the prefix. This is not, this was I think $11, but it's going to be worth it. We put in our order for the prefix menu. And that should be out here pretty soon. And we are 
super, super excited about it. Okay, my mouth is full of bread. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is the lobster bisque right here. And then, Brennan, you got... The French onion soup. The French onion soup. Mm. And then we should be getting our, uh, our entrees here pretty soon, right? Yep. The fireworks are going on right now, which is pretty cool. All right, and it looks like our entrees came in. And we got the very same entree. We both got the scallops. <laughs> this is like an apple consomme dressing to go over the scallops. And these are very reasonably sized scallops, too. It yeah. looks like a small portion, but I'm pretty confident it's going to be delicious. This is the first time that I've been on camera today. I'm such a good vlogger, aren't I? <laughs> also, I'm wearing my Nikki and Minnie shirt, holding hands. In honor of Valentine's Day Happy being Valentine's yesterday. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Hello again. So the park is now closed. Yeah. We've been here for quite a little while, but it's been an incredible experience. I could just stay here for a couple hours, honestly, just taking in the ambiance. Um, but we have our dessert trio now. So this is part of the, oh, the same thing. prefix menu. So we have a chocolate tart right over here, which is in the middle. Oh, the, the tart? Yes. Okay. This is with the gray stuff, with the crisp gray stuff pearls, inside. and white chocolate wafer. And then over here, this is the dark chocolate truffle filled with the dark chocolate grand mariner ganache. Oh, jeez, I can't pronounce anything. Uh, and then this is the um, the lemon jam macaron. Lemon jam macaron. And yeah, look at that. Great stuff, it's delicious. Just ask the dishes, right? Yeah. We have our dessert trio. You can enjoy this and then uh, probably head out in a little bit. All right, so myself and Brennan are all done with our meal that was Phenomenal. I think I'm going to walk around just for a minute just to familiarize myself again with Be Our Guest because it's been so long since we've been here. So that was, of course, the main ballroom where myself and Vernon ate. So then in here is the West Wing, which is a little bit cramped, but way over there is the Rose. This is an incredible room. I've always wanted to be in here. Here comes the Beast again, and right across from the West Wing is the Rose Gallery, which is a a bit simpler of a room in here, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, but I think it's about time to head out of the park now because it's been closed for quite a while. Brennan and I sat pretty much right over here. There's the West Wing and then the Rose Galleries right inside. I love these windows back over here. You can see it's snowing outside. The chandeliers up here on the ceiling. This is such an incredible dining experience. Very well worth the price. And this is the main entrance here. Right in there, by the way, is where you could meet the beast and also where you would order your food when it was not a free fix menu, you would kind of go down this direction and then go into that room and you'd order and then go to your table that you were assigned. And it's still over here, it's still accessible. It looks like these suits of armor right over here on either side. But I remember being to the beast right there, right in front of that fireplace. Right there. How cool is this, right? Okay, I think it's about time to go ahead and head on out. The park's been closed for about half an hour now, and people are still being seated, which is pretty crazy. You can go right across from that, near the gargoyles that you pass by to get into the dining area. There's this beautiful tapestry over here, and then the stained glass depiction of Belle and her prince. Right there, I guess it's not really stained glass. It's supposed to be stained glass, but it's more of a tile artistic piece. Right? It looks pretty cool. Now we can go and head on out of the Beast's Castle, back outside into the cold of Magic Kingdom. It is such an incredible experience to be here right now at night when nobody is going in or out of Be Our Guest. It really just makes the experience so much more worth it, but they were seating people right up until the park closed. Like, people were sitting down as we were signing the check. It's just so late. It is, but wow, that must be an incredible like park exit experience, right? Because right. if there's anything that's relatively complicated at the end of the night, it's the park exit experience when it comes to just getting back to the buses or the monorail or the boat just to get back to the transportation and ticket center. It's it's complicated and challenging. So right now, yeah. it's nice. It looks completely deserted over here, but the entire restaurant was still completely full. Like we were by no means the last people in there. You can see the Beast Castle off in the distance back there. And then they put up a rope over here into fantasy land and here we are heading out of the park with literally nobody else around us heading through the castle walls right now past the carousel and then through the castle and then down main streets it is so pleasant over here currently this is the friar's nook and princess fairy tale hall straight ahead if we had gotten out a little bit earlier i would have loved to do the carousel or dumbo just another ride that was sort of representative of our 
intended idea tonight, which was just a slightly delayed Valentine's Day experience, which I love those rides. And here we are walking through the castle with literally nobody else currently in it right now, which is really nice when you're able to take in this entire tile artwork here inside the castle. It is very cool. I love late dining experiences at Magic Kingdom. They are just so nice. I'm not sure if I've been this close to the castle when it was a beacon of magic. It's really cool. Yeah, the castle is beaconing right now. It's glimmering there along the tapestries. That is so beautiful and very, very cool. So we're still sort of taking our time to get back to the buses because it still might be slightly uncomfortable getting back to the transportation and ticket center, but hopefully not as bad as it would have been right after the fireworks, right? Are you trying to take the bus? Not the buses. Oh, I'm at okay. the monorail. I don't even know. We get, Whatever gets us back there as quick as possible, I don't mind. <laughs> True. So, Bernan, you recently watched the video where I went to all four parks and you saw me eating some hot dog uh, corn dog nuggets at Casey's Corner. I thought we were gonna have a nice romantic night at Casey's Corner. I would have been happy. Yeah, I spoiled it in the car that we were going to be our guest, and I, I should have just kept it a secret. I loved it. I would 100% go back that dinner. Like everything was awesome. It's not the easiest to show bearings on Main Street whenever it's, I guess, just during park hours because it gets so crowded. But that is the Main Street Cinema right over there. That's where we, I guess, I got my. It's a small world shirt, which is pretty much right across from the Emporium here, but technically everything's across from the Emporium because the Emporium is just the entire street. Okay, so we stopped off in the Emporium really quickly, just because it's probably the least busy that it's ever going to be this time of night. So my parents were just here relatively recently and we wanted to get some 50th anniversary merchandise, but they did not have a lot available at the time. And my mom's birthday is coming up, so I wanted to go ahead and grab some stuff for both my mom and my dad. Um, so, well, you and I got this shirt. Yeah. Because it's cute. Yeah, so we got two of those because it's really cool. It's subtle. It has all the parks on there with the 50th logo right there. And then for my mom, I got this shirt right here, yeah, which I just think is cute. really, really pretty and also kind of subtle. And then I got this for my dad. Yeah. Just something nice and simple. And then I just did it a little checkout for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. The easiest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Wow. I absolutely want to do this. And we Forever. don't have to wait in this line over here. I know, right? How cool. Okay, so we did the mobile checkout and now we are back across the street at the cinema to head inside to potentially buy the board game that I saw earlier just because I thought it looked so incredibly cool. Um, so we did not really plan on doing that much shopping today, <laughs> but I don't know. We're never here this late and the crowds are literally never this late to where we can actually go into the Emporium to the cinema and just get and some of the cool. stuff that we've been wanting to get for a long time. It was cool doing the mobile checkout for the first time. Yeah, and just the um, like the 50th anniversary merchandise and then uh, the vault collection over here are, are just, they're close that I've been wanting to get for, for a while and, and just this is the opportunity right now. Um, so I did end up getting the a visit to Walt Disney World board game here, which I am so incredibly excited to play this with my family. We are big board game people, without a doubt. If you and, didn't know. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> while we were in there, Brennan saw something that she liked and she went ahead and got herself a little shirt too. Pretty simple, retro, vintage Mickey Mouse shirt yeah. here. Okay. So that's it, that's, that's all the clothes and stuff that we bought. Hopefully we're good for a little while now yeah. because <laughs> Disney clothes ain't cheap. Okay, well let's head to the let's head to the monorail, which hopefully shouldn't be too bad now. A little while ago we went to Tony's Town Square restaurant for a little Valentine's dinner. We yeah. generally try to do something fun for Valentine's yeah. and I think Be Our Guest was was pretty much at the top of the list when it came to fun places I to have a it. Valentine's dinner, right? Yeah. Okay, so we are outside of Magic Kingdom right now, walking very comfortably because there is really nobody here right now heading over to the monorail, which currently has no line, which is quite lovely, isn't it? Swamp's masks are optional indoors again. The exception is Disney transportation. So if you're taking a Disney monorail or bus or a Skyline or any enclosed Disney transportation, you still will require, uh, or they will still require a mask while on board. All right, so we made it back to the transportation and ticket center. And luckily we parked incredibly close so we do not have to take the tram for which there is a pretty long line Forward, but we are pretty much parked right over there on the other side of the bridge. All right, so we've made it back to the parking lot, back to the car. It is pretty considerably late. It's about 10.30 we right now. We really early this morning. We did. We had to meet up at home 
Um, and then we just drove straight here. So yeah. we are just going off of adrenaline right now. Brennan had a monster in the car I and I had Coke for monster. dinner. So just to get us through the rest of the day, we have so many <laughs> bags here to bring home and, and go through. But what a fun day as far as like a quick trip to Magic Kingdom, just going in to ride the people mover and then heading over to be our guest and then just having like a really slow experience out of the park and doing yeah. a little shopping. It was really great. And I love that about our little trips that we can have sometimes happy valentine's day happy valentine's day we need to do this more often hopefully yeah maybe at slightly cheaper locations it was 62 dollars per person for the prefix meal mm -hmm. but i think it was worth it because it was just so special yeah we were able to use the annual passport discount so that mm -hmm. was nice and we didn't really go over like the various alternative um appetizers and entrees that they had but Maybe we'll be back at some point just to experience yeah. the rest of them, right? Look up the menu. Yeah, no, it's, it's really good, <laughs> and we had such a good time. But we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, mm -hmm. and goodbye. Bye. <laughs>